A very good evening to everyone. I would just like to share uh, some of the updates as of today. Friends, uh, we have uh, completed 1046 samples of testing and uh, numbers of negative from that is 904. There are 11 active cases in the state and all of them are stable. And the number of test results that is awaited is 130 more. As of now, in terms of the health medical equipments, we have 64,458 PPEs, 5,10,000 3-ply masks, 65,190 N95 masks. Under the Chief Minister's special grant for people stranded outside the state, 10,287 have registered and out of these 5,392 5, have already received a financial benefit from our side. There were some concerns that were raised among the people regarding the schemes of rice distribution under PMGKAY and some people had requested and urged that if this could be also redistributed to other beneficiaries who are non-NFSA. Uh, friends, uh, I would uh, like to clarify out here that since it's a scheme and guidelines have been given by Government of India, uh, it may not be possible for us to change those protocols. So therefore, those uh, protocols and those guidelines will have to be followed. But in order to be able to help most of our people, the government has taken other measures like the measures of giving the unorganized sector, labor sector, uh, you know, a help of 2,100 rupees and also uh, other schemes of the registered labors also where we're giving 3,000 rupees. So other ways and measures are being used uh, like PM Kisan, like the funds from the uh, Manrega funds. So, in, so we are ensuring that uh, uh, by multiple uh, schemes being in place, multiple sectors being uh, activated, we are hoping that if somebody does not get any benefit or support from some other uh, scheme, then through another scheme, uh, which I've just mentioned, they uh, hopefully will get the benefit. At the same time, we have also released some funds through the MLA scheme also, uh, and through that also at least some relief and some help is being given to the uh, grassroots people. There were some concerns that were raised regarding the uh, fact that uh, some of the positive patients who are there in uh, one of the institutes um, have been kept in the same room. Uh, I would uh, like to clarify out here that uh, the number is uh, two of them are in one room and one is in a separate room. And the protocols are very clear and uh, in almost every other part of the country and the world, uh, the protocol allows two positive patients to be in the same room, but they only ask that the room, room should be uh, quite big. So therefore that has been followed and therefore uh, we are maintaining those protocols and we are going as per the protocols and uh, also the condition of all the three patients is, is stable. There were concerns raised about the rapid test kits. Uh, some people saying that ICMR has asked governments to uh, not use the rapid test kits, their kits. And uh, from this uh, point of view, uh, we are uh, working as per the directions of ICMR and uh, we are depending mostly on the PCR tests, but the rapid test kits, obviously, as the name um, you know, tells us that uh, it's meant for a rapid test and gives results quickly. Uh, but of course, the accuracy level has been questioned from day one and there's nothing to hide about that. Uh, but from our side, uh, we felt that it was an option and we've used that option. The people who were tested on the rapid, kiss, uh, rapid kits yesterday have also been tested on the normal PCR tests and uh, they have come out negative. So therefore, uh, as of now, we are keeping the uh, rapid uh, test uh, uh, on hold and uh, we'll wait for directions from ICMR for further action on this aspect. If there are any clarifications or any questions, I'm happy to answer them. So we are given to understand that uh, people who are in home quarantine, the government has taken initiative to provide their essential commodities. Please, you can tell us about that. Uh, yes, uh, we felt strongly that um, people should be encouraged 
uh, and we should be supported while uh, they are cooperating with the government and uh, staying at home and self-quarantining. And I think in those situations, um, sometimes they do need the support and help because they are not able to go out and buy the essential commodities. So therefore, with that in mind, the government has come out with a small kit that we'll be giving to uh, all the families uh, which are under quarantine. And uh, in that, uh, we are including the essential commodities like food and day-to-day -day, um, house commodities that are required. Uh, and these kits are being pro uh, provided to different households. We have already covered close to about uh, 600, 700 of them. And uh, through the next few days, we expect to uh, cover all the four, 5,000 families that are there under this quarantine. And it's, uh, uh, it's just to support them and uh, also show our sense of appreciation for the kind of uh, responsible way that they are uh, handling the situation.